Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at something a little bit different. Um, as you can see, in horror games I do like the whole kind of flickering spotlight moment where there's something sat underneath um, and you don't really know what's going to happen and it's kind of like you've got to go, go to that sort of location. It always makes things a little bit tense, you know. Um, so I thought I'd take a look at doing this kind of flickering light um, in today's tutorial, just uh, something a little bit different. Um, so to do this is actually very, very simple. This will be a very short tutorial. Um, but if we go to our console drawer, now I've made a materials folder just so I can keep any materials I make in there. Uh, so I can just pull them out and use them. So we're going to create a new tutorial. Let's call this uh, light flicker. I'm going to call mine toot underscore uh, mat just for this. Um, open that bad boy up and uh, click on the light flicker toot material and change that surface on the left hand side to light function. Um, then we want to call probably about five things max, but one of them is time. Uh, create a scalar parameter, call this um, light, uh, let's call this flicker speed. That'll be fine. Uh, mine's set to three and that kind of works, but again, just change yours to whatever you want. Um, if you want something a bit more complicated, you might want to set that up into a blueprint, um, which I probably will do down the line, because um, you can add in delays then and things like that and maybe get random uh, flicker speeds within a range, a float range. But for now, we're just going to set this up just so it kind of sticks to the same. Uh, you can just hold down M and click and you'll get a multiply. Plug those in. Uh, we want another multiply. Now, I've seen a lot of people set these up. UE5 is a bit weird. I don't know if this is a UE5 thing or if this is a me thing. I don't know. But this is how I have to set up for UE5. Uh, we want a sign and we want a frac node. Now, in uh, I'll tell you how the UE4 people set up. They do sign. Then they plug frac in and then they plug it in and it seems to work fine for them. Working in UE5 for me, I have to multiply these together and plug them in. That works for for UE5. Once I apply, it should start flickering. There, oh, it's already doing it, there you go. Um, for some reason, when I plug them in the other way around, it just doesn't work. This works for me. So hopefully it works for you. But if this way doesn't work for you, try plugging sign into frac and frac straight into the emissive color. That might work for you guys. Once it's finished compiling, we can go into the third person map. If we click on our little light source and scroll down, there should be somewhere a light function material. All we've got to do, now this is a bit annoying because my content drawer is massive, but just grab it plug it in and it'll start flickering now because it's not the same material they're going at sort of different paces that's fine that, that might be something you want but as i said if you set up a blueprint with like the light um uh, actual asset the lot the spotlight uh and have it uh, in a random float it'll do that anyway but because these are two separate materials it'll also do it that way as well uh and yeah there you go you've got yourself a kind of cool scene upgrade there if I put my flashlight on and open this door, if I turn the flashlight off after, actually, you get this cool kind of um, spotlight with this, it just kind of engulfed in this darkness. The other little tip that if you're just setting your scene, you want it to be a little bit brighter, you could also um, come to where the, where is it, the, the outer cone is and kind of expand that if you want it a bit bigger. You could also set up that you've got your inner cone as well. That will push out that kind of uh, blend band a bit, uh, make it a little bit bigger, and obviously just take up some extra space if you want to. But yeah, that's how you kind of do a, a standard light flicker. Uh, as I said, if you want to get it a bit more complicated, so it does maybe like three very fast bursts, then has a delay, you'd have to set up a blueprint and affect all that in the blueprint. Uh, with um, some extra sort of variables in place. 
which I will look at down the line when I start setting up my scenes and I want to sort of have these cool things. Because I already have an idea of where I'm going to use something like this when I start creating my level and planning things out. But thanks so much guys for watching. Hopefully this has been useful to some of you. And um, again, sorry it's been such a short one. But uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.